Hey boys and girls, how are you today? Well, we're all ready for another adventure. Alright, off to Quebec City, then off to Morocco. It's going to be an interesting trip. So printing the Gendex, uh, printing all the paperwork. So we're going to check the weather, download the flight plan, check that, check the route. Uh, no times, of course. So it's not too long from Quebec City to Morocco. I think it's uh, six hours. That should be fine. And um, yeah, I think apparently the weather there is so so. Quebec City should be nice. So we're leaving with uh, two guys, a flight attendant, and then uh, I'm gonna go through Africa mostly with that crew. Coming back home, we're gonna have three guys. All right, so we're setting up the fuel panel once again. You've seen this before. Twenty-five thousand pounds for the first uh, leg to Quebec City, and then um, it's going to be a six-hour flight to Morocco. Um, so we're not going to need that much fuel. But I'm going to try to tank her as much as I can, uh, just because I know what to expect from the fuel here, and then. Uh, from there. Uh, the landing weight of the plane is 78,000 pounds, 78,600 pounds. Um, so that means I can burn about 5,000 pounds. If I start at 25,000, land with 20,000, um, I'll land just around 75,000 pounds. So, perfect. Alrighty, guys. Uh, so I'm just firing up now. Caroline coming up. Hello. Hi Caroline. Hi. Camera's rolling. Oh. I'm going to record our adventures. Oh, which camera? Oh, on the phone for now. Oh, where is the phone? Yeah, right there. Oh, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Five hundred. Minimums. Minimums. Roger. Fifty, thirty, ten, oil is extended, check. Two deployed. Sixteen knots. Text left on runway nine, uh, 29 down to Charlie and on Charlie contact ground 129. Left on 29, left Charlie and ground uh, 219. Uh, 
Uh, you'll see Delta, Bravo, then Charlie. It's almost at the end. Okay. Not quite. Rooms are off. Taxi lights off. If you want to check my wing. Yeah, you know, nothing, think. no obstacles here. Watch him. Down through green, confirm. confirm. Turn the lights are on, pack signs are auto. Point Cal anti ice is off, flight spoiler levers retracted. Flat flap lever holding 16 for now, cast is checked. Down. Approach is set at 3200 feet. Flaps 30 to go. Okay. You can go flaps full. Full flap. Remember the winds? They were 110 at 7, I think. Good enough. Hey, a wind check. Wind 040 zero zero degrees, 4 knots, and clear to land runway 10. Clear to land 10, uh, check remarks. Thanks. I totally see it. See the taxiway better than the runway. Box trot looks like it used to be a runway. Eh? See how wide it is? Yeah.
Looking good. Landings are complete. Wow, what a city. Holy moly. Minimums. Minimums. Dang, dang. Fifty. Thirty. Ten. Very nice. Suppose it's extended. Two deployed. Okay, Charlie Five was a little ambitious. I take it back. <laughs> Charlie 4 should work. To find it looks like it's just tower, so we show me no ground. Or we have the follow me car, thank you, sir. Roger, follow the follow me car instruction. Follow, thanks follow again, me. have a great day. Should make a song out of this one day. Thank you, sir, just point. What was that? So I should make a song out of this on, uh, out of this someday. Out of what? Follow the follow me. <laughs> Follow the follow me car. <laughs> follow the follow me car. The kids are Can't yelled. be trusted. <laughs> Where will it go? <laughs> will it turn left or will it turn right? Oh no, I just did. The big ass there. It holds the... It's like an allegory or something. It holds the, <laughs> the key to your oh, unknown man. future. Check out those like, kids playing soccer. Oh, There's yeah. like mules out there. And Guess what? Not in Kansas anymore. Yeah. Like your heels twice. No problem. And uh, back slide off. It is off. Fox park brake. Is set. APU gen. Uh, seems to be running. Thrust levers. I don't. Engine run. Check signs are off. <sighs> Checklist is lost. <laughs> Beacon taxi light I got. Thank you. Wing cowl anti-ice. Uh. No steer. Uh. Hide pumps. Uh. ATCT cast I got already. Oil quantity. We'll give it 10 minutes. So today we're going to cross Africa north to south. It's going to be a really interesting trip. Um, never done it before. So there's been a lot to learn about this. Uh, we've had to sit down and really uh, plan every part of it uh, when it comes to safety, when it comes to weather, when it comes to communications. There's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different things that are involved in this. We said there's a lot involved in uh, this sort of navigation that we're going to do today. Um, we're going from Northern Africa to the very bottom tip of Southern Africa um, and we're going to cross a lot of countries. Now, uh, what that involves usually is, well, overflight permits, obviously. Um, and after that, we have to look at specific things like uh, the Intercontinental Convergence Zone, <laughs> ITCZ uh, for short, where um, the equatorial uh, weather basically stays most of the year and that moves north to south depending on the time of the year and uh, we'll be seeing uh, CBs, tall uh, 
storm clouds all the way up to flight level 450. Now because of the fuel load that we're going to have to carry today, we'll be limited at around 410 and then later on we'll be able to climb up to 450. So what that's going to mean is that we're going to be flying with our EVS on during it's going to be a night flight so we can see where we're going, see what's ahead of us, uh, use our weather radar a lot. Crossing Africa there's also um, uh, different uh, radio communication procedures that are in place. IATA has put uh, into uh, place a document about five pages long uh, which describes all the communications procedure. Uh, we're going to be crossing a lot of countries like I said that means that we're going to have to be aware of all the frequencies, all the FIRs we're going to be crossing and um, the best ways to communicate with them because uh, the equipment in Africa, some of the countries have very good equipment, some of the countries a little bit less reliable. Um, and so we're going to be bouncing between VHF, HF and CPDLC. Um, so that's going to keep us occupied. Uh, radio calls have to be made at least every 20 minutes uh, on uh, this common frequency which is 126.9. and. Uh, Every radio call has to state basically where we're coming from, where we're going, the altitude we're at, our next our next waypoint, estimate, and all this. Um, and the reason for that is, like I said, sometimes ATC is a bit less reliable around Africa, especially in the core countries, um, you know, Central Africa and such. And what uh, that means is, oftentimes pilots have to rely on each other to do uh, collision avoidance. Um, so we're going to be talking a lot to each other that night, um, communicating where we are, where we're going, and coordinating that with other pilots, other airplanes that are in the area, make sure that there's no conflict. Um, there's something that is called SLOP, um, Strategic Lateral Offset Procedure, which means that we would take our plane and we would fly at one or two nautical miles to the right hand side of the track. Uh, what it, that allows is basically, for example, if we're flying behind an airplane, we avoid their wake turbulence. And the other thing is, um, because everybody might, be, if anybody else is using the same uh, airway, being offset by a mile or two, if we're going one way and they're going the other, if we're both offset, it gives us a little bit more of a safety margin also, just in case. Um, obviously, we shouldn't be at the same altitude if we're going different directions, but you never know. Um, what else? Um, flying around Africa, there's a lot of talk about uh, security and safety concerns, so we want to make sure that once we land at destination, you know, things are already set up for us properly there as well. Um, as you talk to other pilots who have gone around uh, this beautiful continent, um, they all have their different stories and their different ways of doing things, but really there's the core um, communication procedures and navigation procedures that are in place here that we're going to have to follow. Um, it's an eight and a half hour flight, I think. Uh, we're going to plan to have about four hours, no, sorry. I'm going to plan to have about two hours more fuel than we need. That's about 10,000 pounds of fuel on the Global Express. Uh, the reasons being uh, the possible weather at our destination, uh, just morning thunderstorms as a cold front passes through, and also just for weather deviations en route, all right? Um, again, as we said, higher fuel load means we can't climb as high right away. That's okay, we'll deal with that when we come to it. Um, otherwise, this is it, guys. So next time I talk to you today, it'll be nighttime uh, or around dusk. We'll be heading uh, around... Uh, Dusk, yeah, we'll be headed over to the plane then and uh, getting things ready to go. So we'll see you then. Hey, you! Don't watch that, watch this! This is the heavy, heavy monster sound! The Nazi is down the road! So if you coming up the street and you're beginning to feel the heat, well, listen, Buster, you better start to move your feet! Warning test one. Stall. Left engine fire. Right engine fire. APU fire. Smoke. 
to the rockin'est, rock steady beat of madness. And after starts. All right. Uh, Crux, sorry. Uh, APU is off. ACDC power check. Wing <laughs> Colin, yeah, it's uh, it's running right now. Roger. Um, Yon Emperor is checked. Slap Check. lap lever. 6 out indicating. Flight controls are checked. Flight spoilers are checked. Ground lift dumping is. Uh, oh, that's the one thing I did. I knew I forgot something. Checked an auto. Alright, no steer. Armed. Taxi light. And. Ready when you are. Taxi okay. light with the clearance. My gosh, uh, uh, ready for taxi and uh, clearance. Taxi holding point runway one zero in H one zero one seven. Taxi holding point uh, one zero in H one zero one seven. Brakes and TRs are checked. Steering is checked. Flaps to go. So. Checked three times. Blue for brown and uh, no flag. That should be disappearing soon. Hopefully. TRs are checked. Okay. Speed's a bug, I see 10.5, we're waiting for the clearance there, and uh... Speed's a bug. Line up on the run, wait. Line ups? Alright, coming up. Alright, correct runway. Confirm 10, Please. turning to the right. Our set to take off and count on TIS. Our, uh, off. Check. External lights are to go with the clearance. Okay. ATT cast is TRA above. And number one, terrain is up. Weather radar is... Line up and clear for takeoff. Runway 10, wind calm. Airborne frequency 119.7. Mass Clear for takeoff. Uh, runway 101. Airborne 197. Clip, take off. Take off speeds are posted. Pass is checked. Here we go. She seated? Yeah. Okay. Thrust. Feedback correct. Thrust is set. Airspeed lab both sides. Check. Disregard. Roger. 80 cross check. B1. Rotate. Pause right. Gear up. There's coming up. Ready for departure. Tango Sierra Delta. And uh, VNAV? Yeah, uh, okay, uh, VNAV would be great, thanks. There you go. Departure, hello, it's... 2500 coming, flight level 190. Good evening, 190, Mukir, 3 Delta Departure. Mukir, uh, 3 Delta Departure. Uh,
All stations, all stations. Hold. Position MTAB, flight level 450. South eastbound, uniform mic 9 or 9 or 8 in Kinshasa FIR. MIPKU, estimate 0417 Zulu, Inuga next. Flight level 450, southeastbound, Kinshasa FIR. I can. All stations, Lufthansa 572, flight level 350, Kinshasa FIR. South Shara, Lufthansa 560. Nothing but to Quebec of uh, Taxi Golf Palace discussion. To the report of runway 05, report ready for departure. Taxi Golf holding point runway 055 discussion. We'll report ready for departure next to Quebec Alpha. Kruger approach, hello, it's uh, four with you. Uh, flight level 143 descending 130. Good morning, runway 05, a new surface wind, lots of variable, visibility 10 kilometers and more, broken clouds at 1,500 feet, over clouds at 7,000 feet, temperature 1.3, 2.11, QNH 1026, transition level, flight level 100, the delay is expected for the island Sulu, runway 05, report your DME, Papa Kilovit inbound. Uh, we are at DME 31.6 Papa Kilo Vic. Descent to flight level 100 to report that to 20 DME Papa Kilo Victor inbound. Descent flight level 100, report 20 DME Papa Kilo Victor. Perfect. The leader runner is behind me, so I can't see it. Slots out. Slots out. Uh, speed checks. His slides are coming out. That should do it. It's about a minute and a half. Pop six. Speed checks. Feels in sight right behind me. Okay. Flap 16. Three checks. And lots of space if you want to turn in. I can yeah. call, I'll, I'll tell her we've got a visual. Feel visual. It's up to you, I guess, depending. Oh, we'll just turn it. Turn it. Yeah, it's okay. I disregard. This is the spot we want to sort of end up on, so we'll start yeah. the turn of beam it. Makes sense? Yep. Sort of on the glide slope, which is weird. And go ahead, gear down. Uh, gear speed check, gear's coming down. Got it in, got it in sight. You said you had the field? I don't, do you? Okay. Yeah, it's still there, okay, but um, you'll see it as you come around. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, landing gear is down, three green confirmed. It's confirmed. Okay, external lights are on, passenger signs are on, wink on, TI. I'm going to turn that off, not, not required. Plus, where lever is retracted. Uh, soft flap is 16, cast is checked, and. Uh, Where's the airport? Uh, it's at your, like. Oh, yeah, I got it. Now, so. I might have to start down a little earlier. I don't yeah. think we gave ourselves enough room. Uh, your visual, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'll just follow the glide slope. Oh, that's good. You can tell her we're uh, established, I guess. Kruger approach, uh, for its established visual, uh, final for runway 05. Report for my final approach, runway 05. Report your people aboard. I will call you back as uh, four miles final. This is working out nice. This approach altitude is set. Okay. 6500, I see. Well, I'll wait till we're a little closer for a full flap. We don't need it yet. BSC is set. Miss approach altitude is set. Roger. Looks alive. Check. 
Slope and loker captured. Check. Full flap. B checks. Flaps indicating full. Check. Runway zero five, seven seven, let's and verbal, let's let the back track. We ask her if she knows what spot they want. Clear to line zero five and confirm parking stand. I got the easy marshal on the apron for your parking. Perfect. Thank you. Nicely done, my friend. Nice Africa crossing. Oh, yeah. An oceanic, but with predators below instead of ocean. <laughs> like lions and tigers and such. Like HF communication difficulty level. Yeah, exactly. Ten. You are fully configured, clear to land. Minimums. Minimum. Check. Fifty. Thirty. Ten. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Thanks. I see my brakes is extended. Check. Do unlock. Do deploy. Oh. What needs approved? I heard her say. Okay.